So I think I'm just going to do what I think the filmmakers did when they got their hands on this book. Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hamker back with you. Today we'll be talking about The Dark Tower. But first, let's start with a drink because I'm going to need one after watching this movie. Um, and the drink I'm going to do is called The Dark Sour. Dark Sour. Sounds like Dark Tower. Okay, so The Dark Sour is really easy. It is a mixture of lime juice and simple syrup. I already made that mixture up. It's pretty much one to one, a one shot to one shot. Um, you pour that into your uh, rocks glass about halfway up, with, filled with ice. And then you take your dark rum, I'm using Kraken, and just layer it on top. And then you have your dark sour so the dark tower where to begin how about we begin with a drink here's to the dark sour it's a nice layered drink and that's a lot of rum all right so the dark tower is written and directed by Nicolaj Arcer, I think I'm saying his name right, and uh, stars Edris Ilba as Roland the Gunslinger and Matthew McConaughey as the Man in Black. Uh, so the story centers on Jake, uh, played by Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor, I was right. Tom Taylor, uh, and it's about this boy Jake who is having dreams and visions of a dark tower and the man in black is attacking it to destroy the universe and the only person that can stop him is the gunslinger. And I'm not gonna go any further into the story or plot line because the filmmakers and the writers didn't see the need to go any further into the story or plot line either. All right, so let's try to scrounge up some positives here because there ain't many. Um, the actors. The actors are all very good and really try to elevate this, you know, the story above what it actually is. Um, Edris Silva is great as Roland the Gunslinger, and he tries to sneak in some backstory behind his eyes because the filmmakers sure as shit weren't going to. I mean, he truly does bring gravitas to any role he's in, and it's no different here. He kicks ass. I mean, the action sequences are really good, and he's really good in them. Um, He's magnetic to watch and puts a lot of emotion into a real bare bones of a part. Uh, Tom Taylor is also very good. He has a nice range of emotions for, for a kid his age, and he's not annoying like some other kid actors can be. And then there's McConaughey. Look, I'm convinced McConaughey just said, look, I don't need to read the script. I'm just going to play it like the devil, except the coolest devil you've ever seen. All right, all right, all right. Uh, but Mr. McConaughey, shouldn't you, you know, read the script and know what the story's about? Nah. So I'm going to try to remain objective and judge this movie off of what was presented on screen to me and not bring up the books. Um, and full disclosure, I only read up through the third book, The Wasteland, but these books are dense and full of mythology and character. And uh, what I read, I really liked. I mean, so, you know, it's it's good stuff. It's, it, it's worth the read. But this movie, this <laughs> this movie, it just it it confounded me. I, I literally left the theater, I saw it with a friend of mine, and I turned to him, I said, I'm, I'm just really confused as to what I just watched. Um, so first of all, I mentioned before, it's, it's, it's a skeleton of a movie. It's like just, it's just barely a foundation. With taking the credits out, it is 87 minutes. 87 minutes. The, 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 there's a book series out there that is covered over thousands and thousands of pages of of deep, you know, intellectual and wonderful adventure and and fantasy and really interesting stuff. Thousands of pages, 87 minute long movie. Um, it, this movie blows my mind. I don't understand why it was made. I don't understand what they were doing. Who who it was made for? I mean, it's certainly not made for the the lovers 
covers of the books. No, no, <laughs> you're gonna fucking hate it. Uh, but at the same time, they don't really explain anything, so it did kind of help to have a bit of a background on the characters in the story while watching this movie. Uh, I, I, I found myself having to fill in the blanks of, of Roland the Gunslinger um, because they don't give you anything. There's nothing there. Edris Elba tried. I, I mentioned he, he tried. He tried to give this character depth, but there wasn't any on screen. I mean, this movie is so short, but they still had time for this really lame foot chase and then this weird side story of Jake's stepfather that was the most cliched stepfather ever to be put to film, and that's saying a lot. Um, this movie just, just uh, tries to throw in so many ideas, but also be really bland and straightforward in its storytelling. I mean, it's just like, good guy has to beat bad guy. Um, but they throw in these little weird ideas and do nothing with them. Um, it just, it, it just, bl I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Blows my mind. I really, and I, I shouldn't get this like blah, over this movie because who cares? And that's the other thing. This movie is utterly forgettable. Just, I left there and was just like, ah, I don't, I'm, I mean, you see that, you know, some cool, like, uh, action, you know, that was actually kind of inspired and creative, but you see that in the trailer, you don't need to see the movie because they, 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 there's not much more to it. Um, yeah, look, uh, I'm, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Uh, this movie is a one drink out of five. You can skip it. Seriously. I'm going to, the good part is I'm not interested to like finish the story. I, I, I want to go back and read these and finish the story. So that's, that's the plus of going to this movie. Um, thank you so much, everybody for joining me. <laughs> uh, let me know what your favorite Stephen King, um, book to movie is. Uh, there's of course like the, the mainstays like Shawshank and, and Misery. It was really good. I really like Misery, but I think my favorite is The Mist. If you haven't seen The Mist, go find it. It's a really fun kind of Twilight Zone-y type movie with some really cool performances. Um, anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. If you like this, please like, share, subscribe down here at the bottom. Cheers, everybody. Have a drink on me. Bye-bye.